Hey, it's Joseph here. Today I am introducing this Dell monitor that's sitting on the corner of my desk, as you can see. Not dangerous at all. And it is Dell Ultra Sharp 27 inch monitor. The model name is U2724D. And short introduction of this specific monitor and the model is that it is a ultra sharp series which has a really good color representation in general. It's not necessarily the professional grade for color grading and all of that stuff, but for anybody who does some graphics work such as architecture, interior design, or any graphics design type of things, then you need a pretty good color representation on your monitor. You can't have one shade of color here and there. Therefore, Dell's Ultra Sharp will have a good color representation as well as the calibration for you. So with a reason why you may need monitor on your setup out of the way, let me go around the box and introduce a couple of features of this monitor. So the model name is noted here, U2724D, and then it is Dell Ultra Sharp 27 monitor. It means 27 inches and also QHD, which is 1440p, and it makes up a format. So overall 27 inch monitor with 1440p resolution, it makes up a format of monitor that I really like. All the main monitors that I use is also 27 inch by 1440p. And it does have 98% of color gamut for DCI-P3 and then 100% of sRGB representation and this monitor's frame rate is 120 Hertz and this means that it's gonna show a lot of frames for you to have not much of a delay between your monitor it's gonna look very responsive and notably 120 Hertz is not seen a lot in this type of monitor but I prefer to go up to 120 because it does give you sort of the smooth experience as you use your computer so having that is definitely good and it has IPS black which means that this is IPS panel and has a really good black representation as well. So all of those things are really preferable and probably all the features that I need on this monitor. And as usual, it's got picture of the monitor or at least back of the monitor. And it's got navigation button here and then a couple of ports lined up here and then also the monitor stand. And we'll get to that in a bit. But also I wanted to highlight the fact that the monitor stand allows you to make it go up and down and then tilt left and right and then up and down as well as rotating it 90 degrees so that it can stand vertically with this stand as well and it's got ports such as hdmi display port another display port usb type c usb type a and then i think that is for the speaker and usb type a and also separately it's got usb type a and c i suppose it's going to be on its side or corner back there or there we'll see Anyways, let me get this box open and bring the contents on the table. And I know you guys watched this video for setup purposes, so I'm gonna explain that a little bit. As this diagram indicates, you're not supposed to let it stand on its side like that, but lay it flat, just like how I have it here, and then open up the flap to not have any of the contents fall out. Got it? First, we've got couple of diagrams for setting up purposes and then also a little piece of paper that indicates that this monitor has been calibrated for color accuracy. So for all of these color standards such as sRGB and BT709, DCI-P3, display P3 mode, you got Delta E2000 less than 2 which is good or accurate. And cables are here, the power cable, which I will need, as well as USB type A to C cable, and then display port to display port cable. And then warranty paper, which I won't look into. And then here is the metal plate for the stand. So first get that out. On the bottom, you've got rubbery feet here, and then the screw that you are gonna tighten as you get this configured. So let's lay that down flat on the table for now. And you lift this one up. And then on here, it's got the arm that we're gonna assemble together. So over here, you can see that this is the head and this is the bottom. And that's where you're gonna line up with this 
plate over here. So we're gonna go something like this. So that is the front and it should all face forward like so. And then at the bottom, you've got this screw and then you're gonna tighten that up, hand tighten it there. That should be good enough. Fold that away and then rubbery feet will make it stand and not sliding around, but solid. And as we have discussed before, this can rotate like so, and then also go up and down as needed, and then tilt forward and backwards. So we're gonna let it stand here for a bit. So there is a diagram over here that indicates that you need to set this and open the flap, and then put this prongs into the slot, lock it in place, and then kind of lift it like so. So I'm gonna attempt that. So peel this back first, and then there is these holes for the prongs, and you can see that there are two prongs here. You're gonna line that up. And you heard the click, and underneath the arm, there's a little button here, which you'll press to release if you need to, but you wanna hear that click. There you go. And then once you heard that, now you're safe to lift this monitor up. So that's what these diagrams were all about. And then you can lower it like so. And as you saw, you can just lift this up or push it down. It should just kind of hang in that position. And then on the arm itself, you've got the cable grommet here. So you can push cables through like so so that you can be quite neat as you organize your cables. Let's test out the tilt capabilities as well. So you can tilt left and right, and also up and down. And some of you might be up for vertical position. And this is actually a good way to showcase all the ports that are on this monitor. There is a navigation button, button itself, and then the nipple control so that you can go left and right, up and down, that sort of thing. And then also here is the power, which will be connected to this cable over here. So here is a HDMI port, display port, and I believe this display port is for daisy chain. So you can connect this cable to another monitor and then USB type A and C port over there. You can see that those two are here. Here. and then also the speaker wire and then USB type A port and then another set of ports are up here which I can't show you you can kind of see it there right when you're going vertical or landscape for the monitor you want to make sure you tilt backwards so that the corner of this doesn't hit the floor or the desk and then tilt away or rotate away so first, let's get it connected to a power. So you wanna connect this cable, feed it through this grommet here, and then connect up to the port that is on that side. So that should be all powered on. And in order to use these USB type A ports here, as well as the one here, USB type A and C, you have to connect this cable up, which is going from USB type C to type A connect the USB type C onto the port that is here. Again, feed it through the grommet and then connect that up. That is the upstream port. And then you're gonna connect this one to your computer. So I'm gonna connect this to my laptop to use that. And although the HDMI cable was not included, I'm gonna feed HDMI cable because my laptop has HDMI port and then I'm gonna feed it through the grommet and then connect it up to this port down here as well. And the other side is HDMI that I'm gonna connect up to my laptop. So with that out of the way, let's rotate it back again. Okay, so here is my laptop. And then I'm gonna connect the HDMI cable as well as the USB. And once I have all of those connected, I'm gonna turn on the monitor, which has a button on this side. 
and you can see that it's turned on and it is indicating a couple of things here. Press the button to navigate and set the correct language, English in my case, and then select yes if you want to enable following functions, USB charging. Yes, I would like the USB charging to be on all the time so that it can power my devices. Would you like to switch the auto brightness function? Yes. So if I go ahead and extend the display, I can confirm that this is currently showing at 120 hertz, which is very smooth in terms of the cursor movement. It feels very snappy, and that's the benefit of having high refresh rate such as 120 hertz and that will be the convenience that you will be looking for. And it's not gonna be as visible on camera because the camera is not 120 hertz frame rate, but it is very smooth there. So that's gonna be the benefit that you can certainly enjoy, but I'm gonna snap back to duplication of the screen just so that I can see what is going on on there. So I'm gonna duplicate or mirror the screen. And if you were to go down to the product page, you can see this monitor here, Dell Ultra Sharp 27, inch monitor U2724D which is the model indicator and ultra sharp and things to highlight over here are the size 27 inch and resolution of 1440p and refresh rate of 120 hertz which I noted just now and an IPS black technology for great viewing and black representation and it does allow you to do adjustment in terms of height tilt swivel pivot I guess those are proper names for those functions. And then these are tech specs, which we won't go over. But if you would like to look up those specs, I'll leave the link in the description for you guys to follow. So yeah, that was quickly checking out this monitor as well as setting it up so that you guys could follow. Sometimes setting up monitors can be quite daunting. I love the format because this is 27 inch, not too big and the resolution is 1440p which is a sweet spot I feel. I always wanted higher refresh rates than 60 or 70 or 75 because I want that smooth feeling as I work. This certainly delivers that because it is capable of doing 120 hertz. So definitely a good monitor to check out if you do any color related stuff such as graphics design or architecture interior design. You want good color representation when you do those type of work. You don't want a huge green tint or blue hue as you work on those things. So that was quickly checking out this monitor. If you have liked this content, please like this video and consider subscribing to my channel to continue watching these type of videos. Thank you so much for watching as always. I'll see you next time. Bye.